Beyond Van Gogh immersive experience takes you on a journey into the works of Vincent Van Gogh, literally. We've been working hard to sort of find this middle ground between such a traditional object, historical object, and cutting edge projection technology. Multiple creators worked for months on end to bring us four trillion pixels worth of art. You will feel like you're swimming in Van Gogh. There's something uniquely uh, fitting with his work and these types of tools. Because when we think of Van Gogh, we often think also of movement. For example, we remember the twirling skies of Starry Night more than anything else. And so he's actually a pretty awesome fit for these kinds of tools. Being an art historian, Fanny Kotar finds the exhibit timely and inspiring. Vincent van Gogh knew all too well what it was to live life in lockdown. You have somebody who did indeed struggle, but transcended all of that pain, hardship into a work of art, into a work of beauty, just to focus on the joy and beauty of the world. And so after being cooped up inside like we were for a, a good part of the year and a half we've been going through, to have somebody who while cooped up in a cell in an asylum, was able to look to a barred window and create Starry Night, there's something really inspiring about that. And somebody looking at the mere simple things around him, a pair of boots, a bunch of onions on a table, and seeing enough beauty and wonder in those to transcend them into works of art, that's, I think, really inspiring after what we've been going through. When you first walk in, you get to read a little bit about Van Gogh's life and the history of his art. And there is a beautiful quote where he talks about finding the beauty in things you see, and too often we focus on the negative. And he's saying, look at the beauty of it. We all know of his struggles. Actually, the exhibit is all about going beyond this dark myth of his to really focus on his work and the joy and beauty because we tend to remember him only for the darkness, like the cutting ear incident, the struggling madness, the poverty. And although all of this is true, that's not what you see when you look at his work. I feel like hearing that, he would be very proud of the exhibit. I mean, I don't want to make assumptions to Van Gogh here. <laughs> well, I hope we can only speculate. I think he had no idea just how popular he would become too. So he would probably have quite a shock at coming back through a time machine and seeing just what his work has become and how it blossomed. There is one painting that it's like a village and I was standing in it and I was looking at the buildings on the wall and then the ground and then yeah. people were around me. I felt like I was in a, with a bunch of villages. Yeah. The Van Gogh ah. painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were in the south of France with the yellow house. Yeah. You keep saying it's an immersive experience or you keep showing images of it. There's nothing like being in it. That's the whole point. Yeah, it kind of made me want to go to France, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, everybody should go to France. <laughs> yes, but first go to Van Gogh. Excellent point, excellent point, yeah. <laughs> Beyond Van Gogh is here for a limited time at the Starry Night Pavilion, located in the parking lot of Eastern Hills Mall. Get your tickets at vangobuffalo.com.